Happy Chinese New Year! Today, we are going to draw the Chinese dragon. Now, the Chinese dragon is made up of nine different animals, different parts that represent different animals, and I looked into it and found multiple sources giving a few different answers. So, here's all of the ones I found, and while I tell you about it, let's draw a picture. <music> So I started off with this NP blue colored pencil, which doesn't show up in scanners um, and it was good for the foundation lines. And then I threw in some darker graphite pencils. I wasn't sure which one I would want to use, including a marker to get thick solid lines. I like the marker because when I use colored pencils later, it doesn't smear as much as graphite pencils do. I made sure to grab a pencil sharpener and an eraser too. As you can see with this NP blue colored pencil, um, you well, you can't see it very well, uh, which is what it's supposed to do. So I'll go ahead and skip that part because you can't really see it here on this camera either. With my foundation lines down, I switched to a darker graphite pencil and started bringing out the details. Now, as I mentioned, the characteristics of this dragon originates from other animals that it is kind of made out of. The head kind of surprised me. It's apparently based off a camel head. Um, so I tried to look at images as, of a camel as I drew that, but I don't know how well I succeeded. Then there was the nose, which is supposed to be like a dog nose. So I grabbed some reference images and did my best to make a dog nose there. The mouth is supposed to be that of a bowl. And the eyes also confused me. Different sources said different things. Um, shrimp or rabbit or demon eyes is what I found. But I looked at all those and essentially what it is is a big black pupil. Like the eyes look pretty dark. If you look at a rabbit, um, at least from what I saw online, they just kind of have dark eyes. And then there's the ears. Guess what that is? Okay, I'll tell you. It's supposed to be cow's ears. And uh, so I did my best at that too. The mane of the Chinese dragon is that of a lion, of course. And the antlers of, you guessed it, a deer. The body, I think, is pretty obvious. It has the neck and tail of a snake, um, basically the whole body of a snake, and the scales of a fish. The Chinese dragon has claws of an eagle or a hawk, but the paws of a tiger, which I don't completely understand, um, but I do definitely see bird talons there, so I like that. The other one I thought was kind of unique is the belly of a clam. Yeah, apparently, I don't know if that means it's got a hard belly or the soft inside belly of a clam. <laughs> Anyway, so there are a lot of different characteristics here and maybe you could come up with some. I thought maybe the spines, or they look more like dorsal fins, kind of are symbolic of the waves of the ocean. Because as it turns out, the Chinese dragon is a ocean creature. While it can fly, magically, most of what I read said that they are said to live in the ocean, the rivers, wherever there's water. And I almost forgot to add, very important, the whiskers which come from the catfish. Something interesting from what I read is that in ancient China, the deity that created the first humans was a dragon-like being, and that the emperors were descendants from them, which is why the emperors and those who had power had those symbols of dragons on their clothing and different items, which represented power and wealth and leadership. And I thought that was neat. After I got everything sketched in, I picked up my marker to make those solid lines and erased the graphite from the darker lines underneath so that when I went to color it, um, I wouldn't smudge black graphite everywhere because I've done that before. Then I picked up my colored pencils. I stuck with yellow and red for the main colors of this dragon because, well, those are the colors of China. But I kept a blue color close by as well for some contrast and to help me bring in some shadows there. Anyway, there we have it. Let's see how I did. Ta-da! I like it. I kind of wish I would have kept the main part yellow, but that is a-okay. Also, and maybe I shouldn't even point this out, but the horns 
and the main I I don't know what order they should have been in yeah but overall I like it yeah I think I think it looks pretty good I hope you enjoyed watching this video it was fun to draw I have drawn this character three times now in preparation for this video the one right behind me being the first instance which I actually traced a little bit of because I was learning but it is fun to draw anyway I hope that you have a good day and I will see you next time and remember to smile